Hey everyone, it's Katie at the Everhart Museum in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to show you lesson number four for grades three through six for Nature Week. Uh, for this lesson, you need your lesson plan. The four plants with your labels and the baggies that you collected yesterday and your pressing kit. So, once you have all of those ready and you're ready to go, take one of your plants and use the app that we have on the lesson plan. It's called Plant Snap Identification and use that. So, if you have access to the app, great. It's going to help you find the scientific name and the common name of each of your collections. If you don't have it, don't worry. Skip this step and then you'll be good to go with your herbarium just the way it is. But if you can go through and use the app with parent or guardian permission to get the scientific and common name, that'll allow you to have your label completely done and ready to go. If you need some time, go ahead and pause this video because just like all the rest, this is in case you need a little bit more time to pause and rewind to help you with the lessons or if you weren't able to make it to our live classes. So do that first. Keep all your supplies out and come back when you're ready. I'll see you then. All right. As soon as you're done finding the scientific and common names from your app, you have the rest of your directions to follow through on the printout or you can use this video. We're going to take apart our pressing kit by flipping up that tab and that will loosen up the band and you're going to have some watercolor paper which if you've learned in art class before it's a little bit thicker and stronger kind of paper and some cardboard inside and I want you to take four pieces of paper and lay them on your table to get ready. You'll notice that your plant press is only so big. So you're gonna have to make sure the specimen that you are going to put in your herbarium are within four inches square. If you wanna try to make your own a little bit bigger, go for it. But this is all you'll need to do if you're like me and you collected a giant plant. Take it out of your bag and take just a piece of it and arrange it on your paper so that it fits. So go ahead and repeat this. Uh, so I think I might use the bigger piece because it'll still fit on my four inch square. And save your extras in that bag and do this with all that you collected. Go ahead and get yours ready if you need to and pause the video. I'm gonna get mine finished up here as well. This one had a really pretty flower that you'll see in a couple later uh, or in our next video, so don't worry. You'll get to see the rest of it. I'm just gonna use that little leaf for now. The rest of it's making too big of a mess. Remember to have the leaves, the stem, the flowers, the seed as much as you can. Awesome, so that one I just needed to take a couple of the leaves off. All right, now we're gonna put our pressing kit together. So you're gonna take another piece of paper and set it right on top. So what your plant press does is it smushes and flattens your collections and it gets all the water out so that your collections can last hundreds of years after, the, after you collect them. So after you have your paper on top of them, you'll put your wood block down, and I'm gonna replace it in this spot. Your wood block down, cardboard, 
and then your one specimen between your watercolor paper and then just make a big giant sandwich cardboard paper with specimen in the middle cardboard paper with specimen in the middle cardboard and last one if you cut more paper and more cardboard and you collected more plants stack it up if you are using just these four or maybe you only found two great ones that's just fine too so now we have our plant press giant sandwich and to make it work we're going to put the strap the loop right around straighten it out and get it as tight as you can maybe you need to call in a friend or family member to really help pull it tight but you'll pull on the strap push it down oh that's way too loose and i'm going to get it as tight as i can the more moisture you're able to squeeze out of your plants the better this is working and the longer yours will last so i've got it really squeezed in there push it down a little bit more pull on the strap a little bit tighter and now you have your plant press assembled if you've looked ahead we've given you a bonus lesson because now we need to wait all right so wait two to three days and then come back to watch the next video to know how to take apart and build your herbarium out of your pressed plants once again Go to our Google Classroom, ask questions, post pictures, or you can use the paper copies of the lesson plans to help you out. I'll see you for our bonus lesson next. All right, here is everything you need for the bonus lesson for grades three through six for Museum Adventure Week with the Everhart Museum. In this bonus lesson, we're gonna take the pressing kit that you put all of your samples in a couple of days ago. They should be nice and dried out and flattened and ready to go. On the postcards, flip through them again if you need a few reminders, but you'll see these three are examples of what we're going to do today. If you look really closely at some of the samples, you'll see tiny pieces of paper that are holding the samples onto the pieces so that you can adhere them to the paper without damaging your specimen. So get all of your supplies ready and we'll be right here. All right, so to take apart your pressing kit, once again, pull on that buckle to loosen it up. We're gonna get that out of the way. And now, when you take off your first layer of wood and cardboard, in your first layer of paper, you should see your flattened and dried plant. So it should be really crisp and ready to go. So I promised you that I collected some that had prettier flowers in there. So I want you to see some of those as well before I start putting one plant on its paper. So there's a couple of the pretty flowers also. All right, I'm gonna use this top one and I'm gonna carefully take the plant off of my press. They're gonna be very fragile and I'm going to follow the step-by-steps on the paper and get them ready to go on its own five by eight piece of paper with a beautiful label and then get slid into its protector sleeve to go into your binder, okay? So you can either use the outsides, ooh, be careful with your scissors the outsides of your labels to cut into little strips. Or you can use the blank piece of printer paper that we gave you. Remember the tissue paper is really thin. The watercolor pieces are already cut into squares, so you'll have some extra leftover paper. But I'm gonna be extra reduce, reuse, and recycle and use 
the extra of my labels. So I have my strips of paper ready. And you want to be very careful when you put the glue on your piece of paper. And you want to think about how many pieces of paper you need to hold down each plant. And this one looks like it might be okay with just those two. If you collected a really big one or a really tiny plant, pick as many strips as you think you need. So once again, following the directions in your lesson plan. I've planned it out first. And now I'm gonna put a little piece, dot of glue on each. So I planned it out so it's nice and high so I have room for my label. The tiniest dot of glue. I like to say in my art room, dot, 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 not a lot. And put it in place. Pull it tight and hold for 10. So while you hold that, it's gonna dry to really lock it into place. You can make your strips a little bit shorter and glue closer to it, but we don't wanna put glue directly on the plants because that will damage them. So I'm gonna put these glue dots a little bit closer. But once again, just a little dot. Make sure the glue doesn't touch my plant and then hold it down for 10 seconds. So if you have your labels all ready to go, if you did not yet identify the scientific and the common names of them, I don't have mine filled in yet, you can still uh, use the app or just skip it and put a couple of dots or one dot in each corner, and I like one in the middle. Once again, dot, 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 not a lot. You want it to be nice and clean. And then glue it on your page. You're gonna repeat this for all of the plants you get out of your press. So make sure you have a good work area. We're gonna reuse our plastic baggies from the other day. Slide it in there so that you can save it in your binder. And in your binder, you might also already have your plant rubbings that you identify the shape. So repeat this process for all of your pressed plants and keep them in your binder forever. I hope you enjoyed our bonus lesson for creating your own herbarium. Join us next time for our plant mandala, and I'll see you then.